black and white or what said is right you'll see well that was actually a probably a pretty good pace for not actually um like put like pushing it yeah, yeah. I mean I it was going pretty good, but um, sometimes I do this, you know, like in training, when like really pushing it yeah. up those little little kickers and whatnot. But yeah, I feel pretty good about it. Do you have a hybrid monitor? Or you have, you have no well, I mean, I train with one sometimes, but like right now, not really, because yeah. I tend to fixate too much on the numbers and whatnot. So, whew, excuse me. I'll probably put one on in a couple weeks when I like really start getting into racing and whatnot. But right now I'm just sort of going on feel, which I know is a little bit old school, but for me it just kind of works because otherwise I'm just constantly like, oh, it says this and I don't know. And you know, I psych myself out. So to com be completely honest, like racing here in the US, especially doing crits, it's like either you're at the front or you're not. <laughs> so. In there I don't think it's fair of losing I'm not really afraid to lose I think everybody loses and that makes you who you are I mean it's a sport that can take a lot more than it gives sometimes and I if you don't have enough support and you don't have you know the right situation the right backing you know mentally physically emotionally financially it I mean it'll just it can destroy you it really can <laughs> I mean, you do some rides some days where you just come home like I've just laid on my floor and I, you know, I'm thinking like, what the hell am I doing to myself? But I mean, I think I've been really lucky coming in that I found a company that really believed in me and believes in women's sports in general. But, you know, even with us, we're still a fairly small team. I mean, you still have those days where you're like, am I doing the right thing? And, but I just, I mean, for me, I have to look at it and say, it's the thing that makes me happy. And for me, this has been something that has turned my life around because it gives me a purpose and it gives me something to keep me occupied. I mean, I've always kind of been one of those people that I'm a bit of an addictive personality. So it's like, I have to keep on a path of doing something with a goal. Otherwise it's like, oh, you know, devil on the shoulder. <laughs> food yeah well I mean, there's not not a lot um, between where we started and where we are but it's a good little shop it's got
got all the essentials. <laughs> a giant hamburger. <laughs> now I'll probably just get like the little um, like granola bar things. Not bad. Sustaining. <laughs> yeah, well, we used to camp in Texas, but, well, what we referred to as camping, but it was actually just cabins. <laughs> I know my dad used to pull his, like, he had a sob with a hatchback and he used to pull it into the backyard and let us sleep in it. <laughs> my sister and I, my sister and I thought that was awesome. <laughs> that was good growing up what we did. I miss Texas. <laughs>